everyone in this uh, session i am going to look at a couple of other methods which are targeted towards the numeric prediction so we will be talking about uh, two important uh, techniques now that we already uh, know the regression models i would be uh, covering two important techniques which are slightly an extension of the regression models one is the regression trees the other one being the model trees both of them are useful for predicting the numerical variables itself so we would be uh, seeing how do i really add regression to the trees so we will be uh, parallelly looking at regression trees as well as model trees so uh, first of all what are these regression trees and model trees how do i really add in the regression to the trees what are the kinds of benefits and uh, what are the weaknesses that are associated with adding the regression model to the tree model so then we will uh, try to understand the regression modeling process per se once the conceptual aspects are quite comfortable we'll take up a, uh, we'll we'll continue with the same example which we have uh, discussed for uh, the regression modeling so that we can do the comparisons quite comfortably right now again as i am uh, as i have highlighted earlier also i am also uh, telling you right now there is no one single model which will be uh, uh, always better than the other model so which means we have to try different kinds of models see which model is more and more effective for our data the more uh, and especially on the test data the more effective it is on your test data i can use it very well for my prediction purposes now coming to the understanding when we have discussed about the decision trees we said the decision tree is more like a tree right the decision tree is more like a tree the root node branch nodes and finally the leaf node so this is how the decision tree is coming more like a flow chart so these are all my decision nodes at every point i have the decision nodes right from the root node there there are leaf nodes which are the final ones and these are the ones that are defining a series of decision and based on that i was able to classify all my training data whatever the training data i have used so i have uh, uh, divided the training data into this kind of branches and leaves and for each of the branch and leaves i have done a kind of a classification by looking at the maximum class associated at each of the leaf node layer now what we are saying is that same process that same mechanism we can use even for numeric predictions also there we have done a class prediction we have predicted the group to which this particular data belongs to so it was more like a class prediction but now i can very well do a numeric prediction by making very few small adjustments to the the entire way the tree is grown so the algorithm that is associated with the growing of the tree i can make some small arrange adjustments to that algorithm and i can very well use that for the numeric prediction purposes as well so within that we talk about two different kinds of trees especially for prediction of your uh, numerical variables regression trees which generally implement what is called as a cart algorithm classification plus regression both put together so that's the reason it is called as a cart algorithm so we will see that in r it is actually executed as a part of the package called r part which is nothing but recursive partitioning right when we are uh, executing uh, in r we will be uh, talking about it but the cart algorithm is basically a, a, a classification and a regression tree 
So it does not use linear regression method. But what it typically does is, it builds a tree like this based on the variables. But once it comes to the leaf, it takes the average value of the leaf variable and it uses that as a predicted value. So the predictions are typically based on the average value of all that training data that is in that particular leak. That would be used for the prediction purposes on the testing data. So that is what is being done by a regression tree. So first the classification is being done more or less in the same way the classification is done in case of uh, uh, a classic decision tree but here the only difference is instead of uh, taking the maximum class maximum uh, class it would uh, typically uh, consider the average value of uh, the numerical uh, variable associated with all the training data in that particular leaf node whereas when we look at the model tree the tree is grown more or less similar but instead of simply taking the average at each of the leaf nodes and using that as a prediction, here it builds a multiple regression model. At each of the leaves, there is a separate multiple regression model that is being built where by taking the examples, uh, by taking the training data in each of the leaf nodes. So if there are 10 different leaf nodes in the whole tree, then we see 10 different regression models are getting built. So sometimes it becomes more difficult to understand. But of course, it's better that I can use it because the accuracy of the model is much higher. Instead of simply taking the average at the leaf nodes, it is trying to build a, a model between the dependent variables and the predictors at each of the leaf nodes. So that's where the, the betterment of the model can very well come up. Now, coming into the process, if I have to add a regression to the trees. So, we have to always look at it as a kind of an alternative to the regression model that we have created earlier using the LM function. Few important things here. So, it's a combination of both regression, which is used for modeling numeric data, along with the decision trees which are primarily doing the partitioning of the data. So that's where probably I should see that the model should be much more efficient compared to the typical regression model. In regression we have said that whatever the features that we have to include into the model those features need to be specified by the user. Not only features, the form in which the features have to be presented. Do I need to take a square of them? Do I need to uh, take square root of them or logarithm of them? The kind of transformations I have to do on those features. So based on my subject knowledge, I have to give all those features to the model. Whereas here, the tree is split the, the, the splitting of the data is typically done in an automated way itself. So which features to be included and which features not to be included is typically done on an automated way itself. So especially if I have good large number of features and uh, uh, to, to model my dependent variable, rather than relying on the linear regression model, I can very well look forward towards the regression trees. And at the same time, here the user really do not need to specify the model. Here because uh, I just need to supply all the variables. The feature selection is done automatically. So which means the model need not be specified in advance. So at least for some kinds of data, I should really see that this model is more comfortable in terms of generating the result much better than a typical linear regression model. And because the tree model is purely based on the logical division, divide and conquer kind of